Hey guys, what's up? Welcome to another episode of Bed with Behini. If you're new, you're welcome. If you're a returning subscriber, thank you so much for always coming back to the channel. I appreciate you. Now, Bed with Behini is just a platform in my platform so because this is the main channel i post everything on here but then i also have my little platform um i call it my baby because bed is literally my baby where i'm able to share with you guys my experiences you know i feel like i've had quite a number of experiences in different areas in life and you know just generally things that i've learned from all these areas i want to share them with you guys and i love to chat you know this is just a platform where i get to be conversational with you we do a lot of sit down talks um i get to like you know chat with you guys about real life things that originally it will be difficult to come out on social media or anything like that um, in last week's episode i talked about growth so if you haven't already seen that i will leave a link up here or up there youtube is always messing with me i think it's up here but i'll leave a link for you guys so that you can take your time check that out that was an um a really good episode all over the place but it was a good episode um but in this week's episode i'm talking about self-care okay self-care for me is a topic that i feel like because i do you know skincare videos i feel like self-care for me is like key you know so i'm actually excited to talk about self-care um but the angle that i'm coming from is self-care as a young mom okay or maybe generally self-care as a mom now i felt i honestly felt pushed to talk about this topic because this is this is literally my daily life okay my daily life i have to remind myself to do certain things that you know puts me first or maybe let me rather say that cares for me because as a mom generally as a mom it is so easy to pour into so many people's lives you know because i guess that's that's just i am also like as a growing woman and then you know as a woman who is married and whatnot it's so easy for you to do so much around the house and do so much for people around you that sometimes you forget that you also have to do something for you you know and sometimes and i think i i felt like that because i feel like i mean let me talk for myself you know sometimes when i do things around the house like i cook and i clean and i do yada, yada i feel like to me i'm fine I, I have cared for myself i feel like yep i'm relaxed this is relaxing like but no i literally just did i mean yeah i live in the house you did, yeah <laughs> you know but i'm trying to say that sometimes as moms or as women we see you know doing stuff like that around the house and like cooking and caring for the kids we see that as yeah that's what i'm supposed to be doing but in actuality you're not doing anything for you you know uh, you are caring for the baby you're caring for you know hubby you're making sure that the house is good what are you making sure uh, i mean how are you making sure that your house is good and when i say your house your body because really as a woman you can't pour from an empty cup like if you're not refueling yourself if you're not making sure that you're caring for yourself both physically and mentally you know you're gonna be pouring out of an empty place and you're not gonna be giving your best self to your family and that's that's my whole point with this whole self-care thing you know as a woman as as much as you're doing things for people around the house and like taking care of the house and take care of business and um whatnot you also have to make time to care for yourself that is literally self-care and self-care can be a lot of things i have said this so many times on my social media personally for me self-care is like me just chilling and listening to some music legit that for me is like huge self-care because you know me dancing and like you know music is such a vibe it relaxes me um you know i have a lot of things that i do that i feel like i'm doing this for me and i feel like this is going to help me refuel so that i can come back 
and be the best mom that I can be, be the best wife that I can be, you know? And again, this, I'm coming from the angle of being a young mom because sometimes, and you know, our generation of young moms is so difficult because I don't know about you guys, but majority of us, we didn't have moms to like literally tell us this is how it's going to be. I feel like our moms, had a lot of direction and like a lot of like you know training and like you know how life is going to be i feel like they knew what to expect but with our generation no a lot of things are coming as like a surprise to us because i found that i'm not alone i have a lot of other moms who are also talking about the same things who are also saying like you're basically complaining about the same things and this is not even like just african moms black american moms white moms you know spanish moms like i have literally moms from all aspects of life young moms from like all walks of life saying the same thing and it just shows how moms from our generation when i say our generation i'm a millennial i was born in 95 so majority of moms i guess counting down from the millennial generation all the way into the gen z's and whatnot motherhood is very different for us and um like the world is also different right now so the stress is different like our moms had a way different because i feel like that times the world was way calmer than we have it right now our kids are not calm okay like we have kids that are not calm another thing is because our generation is very exposed to social media and majority of the times you know people looking on social media you see this on social media you see that on social media um a lot of our lives you know or like things that we do in life a majority majority of the times influenced by social media that's why we have influencers like myself and i'm proud about that you know what i'm saying <laughs> but um majority of life's choices and you know things that we do are things that we've learned you know be good or bad they're things that we might have learned from other people or social media so moms right now will find ourselves doing you know a lot of things that we see on social media i don't want to you know i digress but <laughs> um i just want to say that i have done a lot of things personally that i feel like oh i do a lot of things i personally i feel like relaxes me and helps me to you know refuel and pour from a right place so that i can be the best version of myself for my family and i wanted to share some of these things with you all right so the first thing that i'll say which is like my big point will be embrace your well-being and when i say embrace your well-being um i'm trying to say that as a woman majority of the times again when we get married when you start to have kids we just neglect ourselves we literally just let everything go like we don't care about anything but it's really not our fault also because then we have to be doing so much for the family around you know like you have to be doing so much around the house that sometimes you may not exactly have time or sometimes you may not feel like um, me taking 10 minutes out of my day to like sit down and breathe or read a book or you know catch up on one episode of my series is self-care no we don't see it as that we see it as we see it as like you're wasting time you have time to be doing you need time to be doing things around the house no and the way you're embracing everybody else around you's well-being you need to embrace your own well-being as well see yourself as equally important as like the whole family you know i feel like a lot of the times it's so easy to like forget and just like do everything in a day take a shower go to bed no what have you done for yourself really like what have you done aside like cooking that's all stuff that you have to do anyway but what have you done for your well-being as a person and that's where um, i'm coming from so my first tip is definitely or my first thing that i'll say that um, the mindset that I put on is just embracing my well-being generally um, and just knowing that when I'm well or when I am like when I've taken care of my mentals and my physicals that's when I'm able to be the best version of myself for my family so start from there all right and then my second point I'm actually really excited about that because I guess I am a beauty enthusiast I create makeup videos self-care videos Yana, on social media so 
my second point is take your skincare time very seriously okay um if that's the only time that you have in a day to just you know like unwind then take it very personal and i feel like that's the one time that every mom right now um has come to like take personal so that's a good thing um because that's the one time that we have to ourselves doing our nighttime routine or doing our morning routine sometimes even the morning routine is a rush because the kids are up you have to cook you have to do this and you have to go to work as well but your nighttime routine is always time for you to like calm down so for my nighttime routine i will play some good music watch some youtube if i can um you know like i would do something to relax me put on my candle you know all these little little things they definitely help and if i have to spend like a good 10 minutes 20 minutes in the bathroom i will best believe that i will because i've done everything in the day for everybody around the house now it's time for me so please bye <laughs> you know like that's time for me that's me time baby shower she's fed hubby's fed everybody's good okay time for my need to just relax breathe you know do some breathing exercises before you get into the shower that also definitely helps if you're the type of person that likes working out work out be right before you go to bed um, I took that as a tip from someone and it relaxes you so much because you know what happens you go to bed tired from the workout and because you're tired or um, like because you're tired you're gonna sleep deep so if you're the type of person that struggles with sleeping at night definitely add a little bit of like working out or stretching to your nighttime routine and it definitely um, is going to help you you know have a good nighttime routine so always take your skincare time very seriously or like very personal let me not say seriously like just very personal so personalize it to yourself okay make that you time always key now talking about um the nighttime routine and you know just taking your skincare time personal the next point i want to get into is build a routine for yourself if you don't have a routine okay I cannot emphasize how important it is to have a routine as a mom. It gives you so much structure. You know, like that way you're able to build routine for your little ones. And I say this because like if I didn't have a routine, there would there's no way for me to like manage the things that I manage in a day. <laughs> like I do a lot of things in a day. And sometimes when I look like I'm filming this video currently at 10 p.m and um you know that's just because i have a routine i know exactly what i'm gonna go do when i get into the bathroom you know like i know what i'm doing when i wake up in the morning i have a to-do list every single damn time on my phone you know you need to build some sort of structure for yourself if you don't have that and as much as that doesn't sound you know luxurious or self-care or whatever it definitely is going to help you feel a lot more cared for because you have structure you know you're not just going about and doing a lot of things or doing um everything at the same time you know what you're supposed to do at this time and aside trying to just you know build a routine and whatnot build an actual skincare routine body care routine something that helps you to care for your physical body itself you know because as a woman you need to take care of yourself and that is also just facts like that's like i was saying when we get married it doesn't mean that the caretaking process of you is just done no but you need to it, it, it goes on it goes on and on and on you need to take care of yourself um especially when you have like kids you want to be a good example for them so build a routine build some sort of structure for yourself have a skincare routine have a weekly self-care routine you know take care of yourself um, um as a woman okay and then my next point is listen to some podcasts i love listening to podcasts guys i'm not even gonna um like i can't even emphasize how much of like listening to conversations like i don't think i'm constructing that right but you got what i'm trying to say like listening to conversations for me is like it's amazing 
like i just love it i don't know i feel like people don't or people might not exactly like the whole podcast listening to podcast i um idea but i love listening to podcasts i have a variety of podcasts that i listen to um from self care podcast to you know how to be a better influencer how to be a better mom you know um like i have Uh, Oprah Winfrey's podcast like that's literally one of my favorite super soul literally one of my favorite I will try and list or link maybe list you know that's I feel like that's a lot more easier because then it's a lot so I'll try and list majority of them for you guys down below just a few of my faves that um I've been loving but listen get yourself get yourself some podcast to listen to okay get yourself some podcast to listen some good conversation some healthy conversation listen to other people's experiences you know you know knowing and hearing other people going through the same thing that you're going through or hearing some professional sharing you know their experience on some job with you that you're also in definitely helps you to like you know build yourself as a person and then also um i guess self care podcast so a thousand and one self care podcast that you could be listening to a million out there okay there's the daily stoic there's so many podcasts um relating to self care that you could be listening to listening to and you know just picking gems from here and there to help build yourself I feel like that's always 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 important. Um we have to keep building ourselves as people, especially as women. I feel like you always have to like keep finding ways to build yourself. Get yourself a good self-care podcast or two um that you really like that you can relate to. I have a lot of them. Again, I will list them for you guys down below. I have Black Girl Black Girl Bravado. I have Self Care in Real Life. I have um Balance Black Girl that's actually my favorite one right now Balance Black Girl legit my favorite one right now and then I have Hot Happy Mess with Zuri Hall amazing and then Oprah Winfrey's podcast is also super soul conversations talking about soulful conversations um you know just deep conversations spiritual conversations if you're into stuff like that definitely check out Oprah's conversation um um I mean Oprah's podcast but I love me some good podcasts okay just listen to a good podcast I love it I'm not even going to lie it's my best like my favorite <laughs> and then my next point is accept help from others okay let me just say it. in plain language accept accept help from others okay and this is such like i guess a thing to me saying it to myself like sometimes i'm taking something and then he's like oh babe let me take it for you and i'm like oh no babe it's okay i'll take it myself and then i take it myself and you know it for me it stems from a place of having to take care of myself for so long you know i've always had to take care of myself i've always had to like do things for myself i've always had to carry my own heavy stuff so um i'm still that kind of person mentally and i, I even like even generally i feel like a woman has to be strong you know i'm the kind of person i i think i've said this a few times i believe that a woman has to be strong a woman doesn't have to wait around for a month to like come and carry stuff for you like no you have to be strong enough to do your own shit that's just what i believe but also accept help from others okay this motherhood job is not an easy job it is not an easy job you will legit break down you will lose your mind my daughter right now do you know what she does when she's playing she's trying to somersault like she literally tries to somersault she's almost two you're somersaulting for what why are you trying to somersault the only way that we see her is on the baby monitor and then we you know we quickly go to her and then stop her from doing that but kids who have you stressed up from 0 to 100 in 1 minute and that is me from 0 to 100 and it probably doesn't even relate to the fact that like ask help from others but the whole I, the whole thing is being a mom could be very tiring it could be very stressful on your you know your mental health and you need to always accept help from others if they offer to give you that help if you have family around you that is offering to you know like babysit for you do this for you hang out with the kids please show them give them show those kids <laughs> i feel bad 
but it's it's the truth show them away spend those two hours with yourself and when they come back you will be the best version of mom for them and that's all i can say shove like uh. <laughs> oh my goodness like it is so stressful sometimes you know to be a young parent that when you get help from people you can you know some you know sometimes when people go over and above for you just so that you know you can relax a little because they understand how difficult parenting is don't take that stuff for granted take it take the help take all of the help that you can get take the help from your spouse take the help from your sister like anybody that's around you take that help just so that you can refuel come back be the best version of yourself for them because they're your kids you're never going to go away from them obviously you're just going away for an hour or two i'll be back you know what i'm saying so accept that help <laughs> accept that help because you have no idea how many people need that help right now like you have no idea i would take that help well, like my husband and i who would literally take that help like we would legit take that help but yeah and to add up to that communicate when you're tired okay when you're tired as a mom again after you've done so many things in the day and i was having a um, conversation with my friend the other day um you know and we're talking about how generally a lot of things are about communication you know friendship relationship everything is about communication and if you're not communicating people really don't know exactly what is going on so when you're tired just communicate let people know that i'm tired okay like communicate with your partner like my husband and i were definitely still a growing couple we've been together for a while you know but i still like to say that we're a growing couple and one thing that i can say for a fact um that helps every relationship and everybody can attest it is is communication <laughs> you know in the like days when i have to film when i have like back to back to back to back to back or when i've said to myself oh i want to be consistent you know i don't have to put that ahead of me being like a mom and a wife but sometimes i would literally just talk to him and tell him oh i want to do this and i want to do this and i want to do this and he will support the whole idea and say you know what it's okay let's get breakfast or you know sometimes i will even say i don't want to cook anything i want to get breakfast and he's gonna say you know what let's order from this place or you know you need to communicate with your person or with whoever you are with you need to communicate with them let them know um when you're tired you need to communicate you need to communicate it's like you know being a mom can be hard you know it could be very tiring um but when you're communicating with your partner they know exactly what you're feeling they know exactly exactly what you're going through and another thing that i want to say is because i feel like because i am married to an african man i'm married to a very traditional man and I'm grateful for that. I mean, I'm happy about that because my husband definitely keeps me grounded. Like he reminds me of home. Like he reminds me of where we're from and reminds me that we need to, we're from here. Okay. You're a Ghanaian. <laughs> you're a Ghanaian. So I'm reminding you that you're a Ghanaian and I need that grounding. So, but also with that comes a different dynamic because you know um the african dynamic is definitely very different where communication is not a thing that we have seen a lot with our parents um i don't know you know maybe everybody's home is different my home my husband's home we definitely did not see a lot of communication from our parents when we we're growing up so now we have to work on our communication ourselves you know it is difficult um obviously because you didn't come from a background where you saw so much communication even me i didn't come from a background where my parents were together so that's a whole conversation for another topic you know what i'm saying but that definitely stems how you grow as a person and i'm happy that my husband and i were able to have communication even when we feel like we can't have the communication you know sometimes when we feel like it's all over there we're still able to have that communication so what i'm trying to say is communicate with your partner okay they would never know exactly how you feel they don't know that you're tired until you tell them so when you're tired tell them that you're tired when you can't do that banku tell them i can't cook banku i can't cook rice i can cook 
you know this this that something that you feel like is a lot more easier for you tell them they know that you're tired if they love you they would obviously let you do something that stresses you out less than stresses you out more like no partner will let you stress out more then they don't care about you i'm not here to advise you about your relationship but i'm just saying i'm just saying <laughs> like if if they would rather let you stress than you know i'm just saying i'm just saying <laughs> and yeah I have gone through every single point that I wanted to share with you guys today um, and I'm happy because all the points that I literally everything that I said ties into each other generally I just want to say care for yourself make some time for you mama <laughs> that's so weird it sounded very weird to say um, but legit you have to make some time for you um as a mom as, as as a young mom make some time for your mental health people would literally not take care of you until you take care of yourself and sometimes when people see how you take care of yourself they start to take care of you that same way you know when people see how you care for yourself how you make time for yourself they start to you know give you that sort of energy if you get what i'm saying so definitely always make time for yourself just so that you can pour um from just so you're not pouring you know from 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 an empty cup you know just so that you're pouring from a refueled you a good version of you and um just so that you could be the best version of yourself for the family so i hope that um you guys like everything that i shared here but before i go i wanted to say that if you are watching and you know comment below what is that one thing that you do um to care for yourself how do you care for yourself as a young mom um what is that thing that makes you feel like i've taken this time out to do this for myself and i feel really good about that or this is a routine that i have um in my daily life that i feel like sets time apart for just me share that with me i want to add it to my routine because i'm looking to add a lot more to my routine i'm looking to make more time for myself and it's not selfish okay let me just say that it's not selfish in any way because you can only take care of the family well when you're the best version of yourself so comment below share with us let us know but i'm gonna go away now thank you guys so much always for watching um bed with benhine comment below if you have any questions like the video subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done that share with your friends whoever is watching um i appreciate you so much for coming by virtual hacks as always okay <laughs> follow me on instagram at akosia benhini on snapchat akosia benhini on tiktok akosia benhini i love you guys so much and i'm gonna see you guys in my next video bye <laughs>